It's 10 years since Wendy Blanchard was the first to raise and release a baby dugong. While it didn't take to the open sea, SeaWorld staff are hoping to make history with this new addition. What we're trying to do is to establish a program that where we can possibly take these young babies in and then return them back to the wild. The orphaned calf was found washed ashore in creek shallows with minor wounds and severe dehydration. He was flown to the Gold Coast and now receives around-the-clock care. He's a newborn animal, he needs a lot of welfare, he needs a lot of care, he needs food. Um, that food at the moment has got to come from a bottle, he's got to be fed two hours, every two hours around the clock. The calf is still adjusting to his new surroundings and learning to consume a milk formula devised through trial and error. If it's managed to drink any milk from its mother, our milk tastes different, it's presented through a different teat, the circumstances are different, all the sights and sounds around the place are different. Miss Blanchard says that dugongs are difficult to raise and release like any other orphaned animal, but if all goes to plan, the baby will be the first of its kind to do so. Gemma Cutting, QUT News.